Hey guys, today I am doing a get ready with me and this is my first official get ready with me of myself. So I just did a get ready with me right before I was about to go out with some friends for a Sunday fun day day out on a really really hot day so I definitely wore my hair up. So let's get started. Alright, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do is apply my primer to my face and I am using Makeup Forever's All Matte and I'm just using my fingers to apply it all over just avoiding my eye area and then I'm using Estee Lauder's Double Wear and I am applying it with my Beauty Blender and I'm watching TV at the same time, never mind that. Um, but I'm applying over my entire face, again just avoiding my eye area and blending really really well down onto my chin and my jawline. So next I'm using this upside down waterproof eyeshadow primer it's by Mica Cosmetics and I'm just covering my entire eyelid from lashes to brows and then I am going to use my under eye concealer this is Makeup Forever's HD concealer putting a little bit underneath my eyes and then I'm just blending it out I just like to use my fingers for my concealer I like the way the heat kind of melts it into my skin now I'm using Makeup Forever's HD powder to set everything and I'm setting underneath my eyes first with a sponge and then I will set the rest with a big fluffy powder brush just to make sure that it is not too shiny or greasy. Now I'm using my Buxom Blush in Seduction and it's just a nice pinky color and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and really blending out to give myself a nice pretty natural flush. Now don't be horrified, but I am using my white eyeshadow and I am using one of these old-fashioned little sponge tipped applicators because I'm old school and nothing applies white like these little suckers. I'm sorry, I know, everybody gives me crap, but I love them. And I am a creature of habit, so that's what I do. So next I'm taking my Naked palette and then I am taking this sort of medium light brown color and I'm just going to fill in my crease and blend into both the top and the bottom whites to just give my eye a little bit of dimension. Doing that on both sides with a nice flat eyeshadow brush. And then after I use that light color, I'm going to use the darkest color with an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in just in my crease and then sort of blend into that. I like to blend really well. I don't like it to be a really solid cut crease because to me that's too 60s. Then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade with my angled brush and I'm just filling in my eyebrows in a nice classic arched shape. Nothing too uh, crazy or thick or dark but I do like to add a little bit of auburn to my eyebrows so that they match my hair a little bit better. Now I am taking two eyeliners. One is Schwing by the Balm and one is this waterproof liquid liner by Ico. I like to do this on the inner corner of both eyes because I have really, really watery eyes and if I don't do this, my liner smears everywhere. So then after I do the inner corners, then I use Schwing to kind of make my wings because I really like how it finishes and I don't really like the waterproof eyeliner as much when I'm making my wings. So it's just a personal preference thing. Um, I'm definitely really, really picky when it comes to liquid eyeliners, so this seems to be what works the best for me, so I just keep doing it. And I'm doing pretty thick eyeliner today. Nice, big, dramatic wings. Now I am applying my Schwing Mascara, and I am applying a nice heavy coat to my top lashes, and I'm also going to apply some to my bottom lashes. I have really thick bottom lashes, so I like to darken them with the mascara. Pay no attention to me watching TV. Now I am using 101 Demi Lashes by Ardell. These are my more, um, actually these are my less dramatic eyelashes. These are more for just like a day hangout. So they're not super long or super dark. They just kind of thicken up my eyelashes a little bit. As you can see by this very glamorous eyelash flutter. So now I am going to use my Sketch Stick by Bomber Betty and fill in my entire mouth with this pretty red liner and still watching TV, nothing to see here. Uh, then I am going to take my Smashbox Bing lipstick and I'm going to apply it with my lipstick brush just like I always do. This is pretty basic stuff. And then I am done with makeup. So on to hair. First I am going to tease all of my hair. Um, at the crown of my head so that I have nice volume. Then I'm going to pull it back and just smooth over the top really, really gently. Then I'm just going to literally pull my hair back and then pin it in place how I have it pulled. If you want to pull out some extra hairs, you can. I like face framing pieces. So I'm just pulling the hair back and then just putting bobby pins in messily. I'm not looking even at what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting them in and then feeling for any loose hairs that I feel. It's pretty easy to feel when you have anything sticking out. If you need to see the back, you can do that. 
Once you're done, you want to give it a nice helmet spray to make sure nothing goes anywhere. And I'm done! So I'm wearing this cute little skirt by H&M, uh, just a black, really sheer top by Anthropology, and then my giant ghetto gold hoops, ghetto gold, ghetto silver. Silver? That's a thing? I don't even know. Anyways, I'm also wearing my little ballet flats by Bait. I like to be comfortable in the daytime. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Check the description below for all the products I use. Love you guys. See you next time.